Welcome along guys. Well, exciting times. We are at Snetterton for a two day track event. Here with Womble, Andy. Um, just pulled up, it's actually Monday evening. So we've got tents, we're camping. So we're joining these lucky people camping. So uh, yeah, we're just gonna set the tents up, get settled in, a bit of dinner, a few beers around the barbecue. So all sounds good. Let's see how it goes out then. You, go, oh, you have to show me. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> I, I need to bring a bin bag for my legs to go and just stick out the bottom of that. <laughs> well, it's Kawasaki green as well. Like it. <laughs> I think more bogey green. Is it, is it H2 official merchandise? <laughs> well, we're winning at the tent game. We're set up already. And he's still messing about with Paul. I think he's brought a kite, not a tent. <laughs> so that's a little sexy SMCR. I'm using for a couple of sessions track insurance and B Moto. Let's get that in there. And here is the GSXR ready for action. This is the Monday. So, all these people here now are people who've done a track day here on the Monday. They will be going home shortly. That's home from home, that mate. See, we've got matching green Kawasaki bedding. Oh, cheers, buddy. Pods. I like to call them pods. <laughs> you like to call them pods? All right, we've got to give a big shout out to David who provided the map for that Wombles bike. Turn it on. <laughs> <laughs> the the What's that? You didn't map it very well. Hold on, hold on. Where's the horn? You the horn, isn't it? Oh, you can't turn it on. Undo the strap. You strap the horn up. Yes sir, yes sir. Undo the strap. Wombles always missing the map for the aqua exhaust on his bike. So David, thank you very much for providing the kit so we can map it and the actual map on the USB. So one has been busy mapping his own bike. You know it's going to blow up this weekend now. There it is, a pretty racing. That means it's got the map for the exhaust, which he was missing. So thanks David for sorting us out for that. That was really appreciated for all your help and instructions and everything. I mean, you must have been bloody good instructions if Womble managed to follow them. And he's an imbecile, so they must have been good. <laughs> Okay, try one hand, Do you want a hand, one ball? No? Okay. Yes. Surely two, two, two grown men are capable of getting one bike out of the back of a van between them, aren't they? Don't you the third man, do you? Well, I can't see a man. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see when I send him over. Beautiful. Look at these beauties. Race torques, chain adjusters. Absolutely gorgeous. Oh, I don't think they're going to pass the noise test in. A bit noisy. Did you not bring your baffles? Did you not bring your baffle? It's in. Oh dear. Someone's not getting on track. Is it beer o'clock then? I think it is. Yeah. Definitely thirsty. Ah, oh, it's half seven. People starting to wake up, a bit of brekkie. Weather's not looking great. It might be rain tomorrow, but I should have a dry day today. But there's some serious track hardware here. We've, we've got road bikes, everyone else has got slicks. Proper kitted up. Oh, time for coffee. <laughs> Let's go! No tire warmers of course, S22, S21s. So got to warm those tires up. This is the full 300 circuit they call it. There's a big fast corner there that tightens up towards the end and then really tightens up for a left hander. And then you're on the straight. Oh, then there's a bend.
that tight one. Uh, that one, this is that one that times up, I think. Brakes, Jesus! Got a lot of brakes. Which one is this? I'm struggling to learn the track. That really tight one. Too slow. Oh, that's it, end of the session. It's a serious track, it is serious. So just done first session, really running late, two bikes to try and sound check, both got through. GSXR got through with the Brox Baffle, which is quite surprising, so that's good. What did you think, guys, to that? I did one sight in that. Yeah, we did as well. Own. On your own, yeah, well I was leading it, weren't we, Andy? We were more left on the road. Yeah. I was leading the sight in that, wasn't I? That's good. But it's quite a proper circuit, isn't it? It's proper, proper, proper circuit. Behind one more handy this time. Womble is the king of late breakers, so... <laughs> Let's see what we can do with him. Go quicker here, boys. You can go quicker here. It's a sharp old stop and then a left here, though. Go for Andy, that's Andy in the white spinny leathers there. Could have done a cheeky. about that one. That was a bit hot. <laughs> Chops is on the charge. a tight right. Oh, I don't like that corner. Don't like that one. Brakes. Go on, mate. Get it in. Come on, sir. Could have done money inside. Too polite as usual. Oh, f Jesus Christ! That's scary. Jesus. That's it, red flag. Oh man, bloody hell, I hope he's okay. Looked like it was just a slide, I think he's okay. A dodging evasion technique, sir. That's a lot of brakes, Jesus Christ! Shit my pantaloons then. Apart from that poor guy crashing in front of me, enjoyed that much more. Started to click. This hadn't clicked before. We've got Paul who's come down, one of my subscribers, Half Dead Rider. Hello there. So uh, yeah, a few people come down and said hello, so I did mention I was going to be down here, so I appreciate it guys if you come down. 
Paul's gonna try and get a bit of video in of me going round and hopefully not crashing <laughs> in a minute because I've nearly been there a couple of times. What are you thinking of it so far, Andy? What do you reckon? What's your verdict? Tough circuit, fast. Fast, isn't it? Yeah. Scary, a bit scary. Yeah, I've borrowed this 690 SMCR from KTM, so I've got permission to take it on track. So, gonna have a little whiz with that on track. I've had to insure it for track insurance with B Moto. Very kindly sorted out my track insurance. £150 for the day um, for a nine and a half grand value bike. So, if you want that reassurance when you're going on track, I think it's worth it. And of course, as it's not my bike, I couldn't risk not doing it, so massive thanks to BMoto. Big up the BMoto. All right, we've got my mate Colin out. He's just started racing. He's got a CB5 owner, just started racing in the amateur classes. I think his bike's about 52 horsepower. We're going to have a bit of fun. <laughs> there he is in the fancy gold and black. I think it's the CB500. So it's the heavyweights on the lightweights. <laughs> Oh, that's Andy! Come on, mate, Andy! Yes, that is Colin in front of Andy. Colin, I'm coming for you! Woo, the bikes! He's popping a mang in. Let's go the power! Oh my hope you come. Come on baby, come on baby, come on baby. Fuel light son. Ah, oh, fuel light, how much fuel can it do? Quick shift is fantastic, absolutely fantastic. Wrong gear. He's still behind me.
Oh, it's brilliant fun on this. Oh, fantastic, love that. <laughs> oh, what a bike this is. Oh, it's incredible, love it. Here he is, that's good mate, wasn't it? I was waiting for you. Was yeah? It was warming up the tyres. Was you waiting for him to go? I was waiting, I was short shifting. What did you want at the end there? Didn't yeah, you come past me then? Corner shot, got a magazine. <laughs> no, I, I, I let you go to start with because I thought you were gone. I was like, oh, he's gone. And then I, I started to pull you in again. Well, I suddenly went and I thought, I'm Was you trying to, just trying to get past me, was you? No, I was just following behind you. Oh, uh, well, you should try to get past. Though. Could you come past easy then? No, no, you kept looking behind you though, didn't you? Could you have come past though? Uh, or was you proper gunning it really? I was proper gunning it. I might have been able to get past. You should have come by. You should have come past. Uh, I was getting good footage until uh, we got stuck in traffic. Yeah, that was good though, wasn't it? I really enjoyed that. That was, a blast, that was, that was yeah. really good, wasn't it? Yeah, you should have come by. If you, if you had it there, you should have come past and had a little tussle. No, uh, it's always the same story, isn't it? Could have come past. I was, let, I was letting you go, getting the footage. There we go, all over, all over. We've had a little splash of rain, day's finished, absolutely knackered. It was fantastic, really enjoyed it. The uh, bikes have been amazing, the GSXR, it's about six weeks since I've ridden it, and it always, it's always incredible how capable that bike is. The carbon wheels are fantastic. It's very hard to tell the difference when you're in a track environment because I haven't really used it on track before not that often or a long time ago without the wheels so it definitely felt a bit lighter the front seemed to want to come up a bit more and um, there's definitely less weight there the turning is so fast on it especially compared to be riding the h2 the h2 is very slow to turn so that just feels like a little 600 incredible it's such a lovely bike it's such a great road bike 
really comfortable and you come to the track and it is just amazing so far so capable incredible the SMCR amazed me how good it was out there I mean the amount of people I overtook on that on sports bikes you know proper people with with tr slicks on on proper track bikes and they have a little single pot <laughs> <laughs> KTM flying past them, but it's incredible. So I've absolutely loved it, love the day. But uh, thanks very much for watching. A bit knackered now. Time for some refreshments and to get gazeboed. <laughs> See you later, guys. Do you mean a bed? I think I might pass on the bed. I bought my own duvet mattress with me. Keep your shitty bed. I bought this. <laughs> Couple of chimps trying to put tents up. Why oh, have you got Suzuki Blue? Because <laughs> the affiliate one broke on the way here. <laughs> even Andy's even gone to a BMW Black, isn't he? Matching his bike. <laughs> Don't move around too much in the night. You like to call them pods? I've dropped it. I've, I've dropped your one already. Is that a pillow? Oh, yeah, I could use it as a pillow. It's just. Oh, <laughs> He's got two. I don't need two pillows. That's just greedy, man. That's just greedy. You did give him the bed, didn't you? <laughs> I mean, you can't look. Two pillows don't fit. Put a fight.